Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Look at today's tutorial. Is this not beautiful? I am so happy with how this pillow came out. Um, I do want to start this tutorial out by saying that my air conditioner is running, my window unit air conditioner is running right behind me, so, and it is way too hot to shut it off, so if you guys can bear with me with the uh, sound of it running, um, I do apologize for that, but let's talk about our pillow. So what we have here is we have the A Peachy Twinkle matching pillow for the blanket. And then I also with the blanket and pillow set, there is a matching baby dress and there's a little apron for the dress. And then I have a matching bonnet and booty set for this. So check out the description box to see all those links. So for the this pillow, what we do is we work a panel around our pillow. Then we work a border around the pillow and then we attach our white and work two rounds of shell and single crochet around the pillow and done. This, I will have to say, I think this is probably the easiest pillow I have on my channel. This one was it's super simple. Um, so let's just go right into what you're gonna need. You're gonna need two skeins, my label came off of my skein, two skeins of I love this yarn, metallic, in the color Blush Sparkle. Now I use one full one for my panel and then a little bit of the second. However, you don't have to have the pillow I have. The pillow that I use is actually an old travel pillow I bought from Walmart. Um, I think it's one of those, I don't know. I. I don't remember the dimensions of it, but I've had this thing forever, and in the tutorial you're going to see this. It's got stains, and I think there's a couple pieces of cat hair on it, but I've had this pillow forever, and I thought, you know what, I, I want to turn it into a, my next baby set. So you don't have to have a travel pillow. You can use whatever pillow you want to. Having said that, I suggest you get at least two to three skeins if your pillow is bigger than mine. Now, mine measures... If I can remember right, yeah, 19 by 14, 19 by 12, so 19 wide, 12 tall. Um, I don't think they have that pillow anymore. I have no idea, honestly, but uh, I would suggest getting two, maybe three, if your pillow is bigger than mine. Um, but yeah, so any any pillow insert will work for this. And I show you in the tutorial how to get your pillow cover to fit your specific pillow. Um, but yes, I use two, and what we do is we start at the seam, work around, and come back. Um, so yeah, I use two skeins of I Love This Yarn Metallic Blush Sparkle. And then for the border, I use one skein, this is what I have left, of Karen Simply Soft Party in the color Snow Sparkle. Okay, so get those supplies together. And then just the basics. I used a five millimeter hook, scissors, yarn needle to weave in my ends. And then I did use a handful of stitch markers. Um, you don't have to use stitch markers, so you can use whatever you wanna use you know, to mark your stitches. But I did use it on a piece that we fold well, if I can show you, like we fold the panel in half, work around, and then um, work across the fold at the top. And I did uh, use those to keep my line. I was using my headphones to hold up the pillow so you can see it. All right. Um, like I said, check out the description box and find the links for everything that matches this set. Besides that, that's it, guys. Let's get our stuff ready and, oh, let's talk more about the pillow. Walmart has a bunch of pillow inserts you can buy. Um, just any sort of pillow you want to use will work just fine for this. Uh, and I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, sh I tell you guys in a tutorial how to make the panel fit your pillow. So, all right, get your guys' supplies together and let's get started. Alrighty, so to get started with our pillow, we're going to take our pillow and I want you guys to lay it down and then work a chain, uh, multiples of four, from one side 
not quite to the other side. We want to have just a little bit, because whenever we work our piece, when we work our piece, it's going to have some give, right? So we don't want it to be really baggy. We want it to be a, a, not a firm, but a snug fit. So if you work it from side seam to side seam on your pillow, it's going to be a little, it's going to be too baggy. So we don't want it to go exactly to the side seam. Just let it come up a little bit, um, you know, away from your side seam. So that way, whenever we work the panel, it'll have enough give to go around the pillow. Um, so for mine, my pillow measures, uh, from side seam to side seam, about 19 inches. And I chained a 72 for mine. So whichever pillow that you guys decide to make yours for, just chain multiples of four and, um, make sure it doesn't go exactly from side seam of the pillow to side seam of the pillow. We want to have a little bit of to where we can pull it just a little to where it's going to be a snugger around the pillow. Okay, so once you guys get your chain length figured out, I'm going to bring you guys down. we can start our pattern. So I'm going to get a chain done here off camera from my, since my piece is done, I'm going to go ahead and show to show you guys the sample of how to work the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got my little sample chain done here. I chained 20 and to work the pattern, you're going to work two double crochet into the fifth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, right there's the fifth. We're going to go in there with two doubles. And then we're going to double crochet or two double crochet into the next chain. Now we're going to skip two chains and two double into the next chain. And two double into the next. And that's what you're gonna repeat across. Let me get my double here. Skip two chains, two double into the next, two double into the next. Skip two chains, two double into the next, two double into the next. Repeat that all the way across your chain. And I will get my little sample done real quick. Right, so you're going to repeat that across your chain until you have two chains left. Ah. All right. So on your last two chains, you're just going to skip the next chain and into the last work one double crochet and then chain one and turn. And that was row one. So row two, you're going to double crochet into that very first double crochet. And you're going to skip one. And then into the next two double crochet. And then two double crochet into the next. Skip two, two double crochet. And two double crochet into the next. And that's what you're going to repeat across. Skip two, two double into the next two. Skip two, two double into the next two. Repeat that across your row. Trying to get mine done real quick. Repeat, repeat all the way down your row until you have 
your last double and then that chain we skipped at the beginning. You're going to skip your last double and into that la into that chain. You can see right there's a back bump, right there's a back bump. We're going to go right into the top of that chain with one double crochet. Chain one and turn. And then you're just going to repeat row two. Obviously you're not going to have a chain to work into but anymore, but we're going to double crochet into the very first double. Skip one, two double into the next, two double into the next. Skip two, two double into the next, and two double into the next. Oops. Skip two, two double into the next, and two double into the next. So repeat that over and over and over again until your piece, I'm going to try to get this done, skip two, two double into the next, and two double into the next. Repeat that across your row till you have two doubles left. Skip your second to last double and one double crochet into the last. And that's your piece. So you chain one, turn, repeat, repeat row two, chain one, turn, repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> and you keep working that until your panel, I'm going to bring you guys back out. Until your panel, we want to have the same concept that we had when we worked the piece or when we worked our chain across our pillow, we're gonna have that same concept around working our panel around the pillow. We don't want it to go exactly from side all the way around to side. We wanna have it a little, a little shy of being able to be wrapped all the way around the pillow. So just like that. See how I've got that little bit of length right there? So now I can just take my piece bring it together and my pillow is going to, or my case is going to fit, my pillow case is going to fit snug around my pillow. See how that works? All right. So you guys just repeat your, your row, repeat your row two and work it until the panel, like I said, doesn't fully wrap around, but it's got a, I, be shy to two rows, depending on your tension, two to three rows. Okay. And then come back here and we are going to finish this off. This is probably one of the easiest pillows I think I've, I've done on my channel. <laughs> All right, so get your panel done and come back. All right, so once you get your panel done, work your last double crochet and chain one. Pull up a loop a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the bottom to the top. Now it doesn't matter how you want to lay yours at, or you want your piece, but this is how the pillowcase is going to be. So if you want your, um, your piece to go, you know, this way or this way, it doesn't matter. I am going to make an effort to try to keep this to the inside of my pillow because whenever I started working with the yarn, a bunch of these little fluff balls came out on my yarn and I didn't want to cut it. So I just, worked through it. So I'm going to keep those to the inside of my work. But so just bring your bottom to your top. And what we're going to do is we are going to half double crochet these two ends together all the way across. We're going to work a corner. We're going to come down this side. And then what we're going to do is work half double crochets along this bottom fold. And then we're going to stop, insert our pillow, and then half double crochet it shut, and then we're gonna work that border piece around the white fluff, fluff, the white ruffle border, like on our the matching blanket and our bonnet and our uh, our little apron for our dress. We're gonna work that same pattern around, okay? Alrighty. So once you work that last double crochet, chain one, and now I'm gonna bring my two pieces together, and the piece that or the end that has our beginning chain, I want to try to make sure. I can go, I'm, I'm finding right where I want to be into the corner. So I'm going to go, so like here is one, two, three chains. I'm going to go right into that, nope, right there's my, 
yeah, right there. I want to go into that third chain. So I chained one. I'm going to yarn over. Actually, I need to rotate, turn my work so I can, there we go. I chained one. I'm going to yarn over and go into that chain and that very last double crochet we just worked with a half double. And I'm going to go right back in there with another half double because that's going to be the beginning of our corner, our last corner. All right, now I'm just going to evenly space out half double crochet. Well, I shouldn't say evenly space out. What I'm going to do, dang it, come on. I am going to work a half double into each of the double crochets on the side that actually has the double crochets and not the beginning chain. So I'm just using this as a guide so I don't have to, you know, focus on my remaining loops of that beginning chain. I'm just going to make sure I'm going into every double crochet across, okay? So work that across the top of your piece. Just make sure you're going into every double. Don't worry about your beginning chain. We don't need to focus on that. We want to pay attention to the uh, double crochets, all right? So work that across, and I will meet you when we get to this next corner, okay? I'll be right back. All right, so I've repeated that across, and you can see my, uh, my side that has the actual double crochets and then the side with the beginning chain. I'm a little off, so I'm gonna have to skip a little on the side that has the doubles. That's okay, but I'm gonna just keep working across until I get into the farthest, that very last double crochet right there, and then I'm gonna go into the chain right here that has the legs of that double crochet into it, and that's gonna be my corner. And we're going to work two half doubles, chain two, rotate our work, and I'm going to go back in there with two half doubles. Just like that. That is the top, or well, whichever side, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So I've got this piece and then we're going to rotate and now we're going to come down this side. Just tuck that tail in there, not even worry about that. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just evenly space out half doubles. Go and make sure you go through both. And I'm going to keep that same concept I had been working on the border of my blanket. I never went around a double crochet. Uh, so what I mean is like right there here, here, and here. I never went around the post of that double. I just go right straight through it. And I'm going to keep that same concept working this, uh, the pillow cover. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go ahead and just evenly space out your half doubles across this short little panel piece right here, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, so I've half double crocheted across here, cat hair, and I'm coming to that fold right there. So I am going to work my half doubles right until I get to the stitches that are, are folded together. And I'm going to just go in where I can and work my corner. One, two, chain two, and rotate. Ooh, laying right on top of my yarn and I can't move there. All right, so there is my next corner. Look how nice it looks. I'm so excited. Okay, so now this piece, I'm making sure my edges line up on the piece that we have not stitched together. All I'm going to do, uh, let's see. I'm going to try my best to keep a straight line of half double crochet going down or across, I should say. All right, now I see what I'm going to do. Okay, so right here I have a row of double crochet or I have a row of my work. I am going to run a stitch marker every so often to keep my eye that that is the row 
that I am designating as my row to work this these half double crochet into. There. So you guys can use stitch markers, use scrap yarn, use whichever, whatever you have that you want to use and mark the, you know, I, all I've done is just laid my piece out, make sure the, everything's laying nice and neat. And I use the row that's bent from that, that well curved, I should say from that fold as the row that I'm going to use, I'm going to work my top, uh, not seam, but top, uh, border around. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I am actually going to work a half double crochet into each of these loops on the tops of those double crochets. You guys see those loops? That's where I'm going to work my half doubles, okay? So I'm just going to go right in there. And I'm just going to follow that line. All right, so go ahead and work across the top of your fold and I will be right back. Okay, so I've worked across the top there into my fold and I've gotten to the corner. I'm gonna have that next little space I can get into to be where I actually work my corner. But what we're gonna do now is insert our pillow. And I just bumped my light. So I'm just going to open this and slide it on in. Oh. <laughs> Perfect fit. Good deal. Now all I'm doing right now is making sure I get those corners. Corners of the pillow st stuffed with the... Or I mean the corners of the pillow into the corners of the pillow cover. Okay, so now we're just going to continue working around just like we did on the other side. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt for me to film on camera, but I'm going to go into the next space. I can get my hook as far into the corner as I can go. So I go, I'm just going to go right there. Half double half double, chain two, right back in there, two more half doubles. All right, now just evenly space out half doubles down your open side to close your pillow up, okay? I'm going to get mine done and I'll be right back. I'm so happy, it's so cute. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm coming across the top and I'm back to where we started. So right into the stitch where those first two half doubles are, I'm going to go right in there with two half doubles, chain two, and then we're going to slip stitch to that very first half double and get in there. Chain one, pull up a loop, and we're done with that. Cut. Oh, you guys, I am so excited about the way this looks. It's so cute. 
All right, I'm gonna take my stitch markers out here. I'm gonna back you guys up so you can see. I'm proud, proud, proud of this. Just like that. Look at it. Oh, I love this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in this tail. And then what we're going to do is work the two rounds of the white scallop edge around. And we will be done. Now, I realize working that round of half double crochet around the edge that we just worked. Um, my scissors that basically what that did was give the pillow a front and a back, right? Because you know, you got your front of your doubles or your double half doubles, and then you got the back of the half doubles. Um, I know it's one way that you can keep that from staying that way is to work the first round that we're getting ready to work of the white shells around the edge and then turn your work and then flip that to where the round of, um, well, let me show you. So here's the little sample I made in the, in the baby blanket tutorial. So both rounds of these shells, like there's the first round, here's the second round, they're both facing to you. So if you work this first round facing you and then this round facing, you know, you chain one turn and then work back the other way, that would kind of keep it from having a, a front and a back on the pillow but I want to keep all of mine the same so I am actually going to go ahead and just work two, the two rounds um, facing one direction since the pillows, or I'm sorry, the pillow, the blankets that way, the aprons that way, all the dress, the bonnets that way. Alright, so let me get my white yarn. And it just anywhere you want to, it doesn't matter. I am, I'm going to have to film like this because uh, it's hard to hold this pillow and uh, film at the same time. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach into that chain 2 with a slip stitch and chain 1. Turn the pattern here. Alright, we're going to work five half double crochet into that chain two. I'm sorry, double, not half double. One, two, three, four, five. And now skip that next half double, single into the next. Skip the next half double, double five double crochet into the next. Two, oh, three. This is so hard to film. <laughs> is that four? Five, skip one, single into the next. And that's what you're going to repeat around. Skip one, five double. Skip one, single, skip one, five double, skip, single, skip, five double, skip, skip, single. Repeat that across your row and I'll meet you when we get to the uh, other corner. So I'm gonna work this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have repeated that across the side here. And now what I have is that I skip this half double single here and then I have these two half doubles before I get to that corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip two single crochet and then now I'm ready for my corner. So if you guys come up to where you have a, a shell getting that, that should be worked right before your corner, pull back, skip an extra one work, you know, your shell, single, sk shell, single, and then ha get it to where, you know, you can either skip two here to get to your corner or skip one, whichever, but there's, I, you want a single 
right before your shell into the corner, okay? So you may have to skip an extra an extra stitch or, you know, if you if you come up to where you have a single and a shell, pull back, skip two, then work, you know, your next stitch, skip two again, whatever you need to just to where you can get it to where there's a single before that chain two, okay? So now we're just going to rotate and into that chain two corner, work five double. One, two, two, three, four, and five. All right, now I'm going to skip the next, single into the next. And now I'm going to repeat what we just did across the top of the pillow or bottom, whichever. And then I will meet you when we get back to this next corner, okay? Be right back. Okay, so I've worked across the top and I did have to pull back and skip two instead of just one so I can get it to where I have a shell and then and skip one, single crochet, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip another and go into my corner with my five doubles. One, two, three, four, five. I'm rotate. Now I'm gonna skip the next half double and single into the next. And now down, come on. All right, now down this short side, I want to have it. It's it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I would like to have it to where it has the same number of shells on this side. So I have without counting my corner here and the corner we just started, or I mean that we worked when we started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to have at least eight on this side as well. So I'm going to pay attention to that and try to have eight. If I don't, not a big deal. Okay, so I'm going to work down that side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it to this next corner and I did have to, have to skip, you know, two in between my singles and my and my shells, but that's okay. I got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like on the other side. And if you don't have the same number that's on your other side, oh, I'm sorry, dang it, I didn't mean to do that. If you don't have the same number that's on your other side, it's not a big deal. Nobody's gonna notice. All right, so now I'm just gonna go straight into that chain two with my five doubles. Three, four, five, skip, single crochet into the next, and now I'm just going to repeat that across the bottom of my row, and I'll meet you when I get all the way across, and I get back to where we started, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I repeated that across the top, and I did end up having to skip an extra one just to get a single crochet before my my beginning right there. Get out of there. All right. And oh, I, one other thing, the this part, part of the my border, I have 17 shells and then this part I only have 15, but that's all right, no big deal. Okay, so now I worked my last single, so I am going to slip stitch to that first double crochet, chain 1 and not pull up a loop. Well, okay, so if you are wanting to do the second round of your border with the the shells facing the opposite way, chain one and turn. But if you don't, if you're gonna work it like me, slip stitch, and then we're gonna slip stitch into that third. Right there slip stitch until you get to the third double crochet of the five, chain one, and we're going to work six double crochet into the top of that double. Two, three, four, 
five, six. And now we're just gonna single crochet into our single. Six double into the third of the set, the five double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and now we're gonna come down here and single into our single. And that is what we are going to repeat all the way around our pillow. All the way around, okay? Now if, oh, I got some fluff sticking out right there. Fix that. All right, so now if you slip stitch to the first double, chain one, and then turn your pillow, then go ahead and single into that single, six double into the third, single, six double, sing, single, six double on the opposite side, okay? All right, so all you have to do is repeat that around. So I'm gonna go ahead and get mine done off camera, and when I come back, we're gonna finish this up. All right, bye guys. All right, I have worked that all the way around, and I single crocheted, where's my work, there it is. I single crocheted into that last single crochet right there, and I'm just gonna come up here and slip stitch right to that first double, chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. Okay guys, weave in your ends, and there is your pillow. I'm so happy, it's so adorable. I, I am in love. Super, super happy with how this turned out. And I hope you guys are too with how yours turned out. I'm actually gonna turn mine this way. There you go. I hope you guys are super happy with how yours turned out. Also, I hope you're happy with my tutorial. So as always, you guys are the greatest. Thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Let me get, I'm trying to get to where it can set up <laughs> so you can see it. I, re I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's coming next from me. I've got all kinds of tutorials, that, or ideas anyway, <laughs> in my mind to get from my, my head to my hands to my hook to you guys. So subscribe if you haven't, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to click that notification bell and then click all so then you get a notification for everything that I put out. Um, so all my tutorials. And uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. And check out that description box. I have links to the matching baby blanket, to the matching dress, bonnet. Uh, there's a little apron for the dress and there's a matching pair of booties. There's an entire set for this beautiful, beautiful pillow. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.